you guys have a cast iron pan that maybe it sticks really bad, you don't use it too much because of that, maybe the surface is really rough and you're trying to figure out how to smooth it out, we're going to hit this bad boy with some sandpaper on the random orbit sander, see if we can fix that problem. This is part of that cast iron learning experience that I mentioned I was on, so stick around. What's going on everybody? Welcome to this episode of Homebuilt Workshop. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. My name is Jeff and today we're talking again about cast iron pans. In a previous episode I made some really simple wooden spatulas for use with a cast iron pan and in that video I kind of mentioned that I've been on this journey of learning about using, caring for, and cooking with cast iron and today we just got a little project here because this pan sticks really bad. Even though I've seasoned it several times, I think what is causing it is the surface is really rough. So I've been doing some research on that. Again, part of my learning journey. And I've seen some guys sand these down to remove these ridges and bumps. And I think that's what we're gonna try to do. Now, why would I wanna take my sander to my cast iron pan? Well, all the bumps and ridges in here, it's really rough around the edge those are all places where you're gonna get something sticks to it. That has been my experience with cast iron in the past. I probably didn't have a pan that was seasoned well, or maybe it was really rough, and I just never had good experiences, but like I said, I'm learning more and more about using this kind of a cookware, and these ridges and bumps, well, they gotta go. Now this is a really inexpensive cast iron pan. There's no name on there or anything. I don't really know who made it, so I'm not too worried if I somehow damage it. I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm using this as kind of a test piece. I can learn by working on this one. That way, as I move along, if I find old rusty pieces, then I can already have a little bit of knowledge at restoring them and getting things smoothed out. So let's grab some sandpaper and see what we can do with this thing. I think I'm gonna try some 120 grit first. I'm just gonna use my random orbit sander. I should be able to get most of the areas. I know I'm gonna to have to sand a bit by hand around the edges. That's gonna be fine. Now this pan has been seasoned, so I'm pretty sure that it's probably going to gum up the sandpaper pretty quick. Uh, maybe I need to start with something coarser. I don't really know. We're gonna try 120, see what happens. When was the last time you random orbit sanded your cookware? Yeah, clogging up pretty quick. But if we take a look at this, you can see all the dots and things where it's sanded off the high spots. So it's feeling pretty smooth on the bottom. It's still rough around here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding that by hand. Hand sanding on cast iron. Oh boy, we just can't get away from it. Boy, that's messy. That's feeling a lot better. Those bumps and uneven edges, feeling a lot smoother now. I think this just might work. Boy, that is a dusty job. Probably a good idea to wear some sort of a dust mask or a respirator. It does kind of smell funky. Definitely don't want to be breathing that stuff in, but I think our pan is good to go. Now, the whole thing is not 100% shiny, and that is not the goal. I'm not trying to polish this thing up. I just want to get it nice and smooth, eliminate the bumpy, rough edges here. Now, I'm going to go through the whole re-seasoning process of coating it with oil, baking it in the oven, repeat, 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 until you get a nice, even seasoning on there. I'll probably do that about three times, I think. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned, I will report back and let you know how this works out. Well, here we are. About two weeks has passed since I sanded this with the random orbit sander, and I'm happy to report that it's much, much better now. You can see probably right away that most of the blackness has returned since we sanded it off before. A lot of that was due to the seasoning process, but also it will blacken as we use it over time. I've used this little guy to cook a handful of things. Of course, it's not a very big pan, so I can't cook anything too large, but everything that I've put in here, which includes the dreaded egg. Eggs, I guess, tend to stick to cast iron. It didn't stick to this. It worked really well. 
Now having done this, I think we are ready to do a cast iron restoration video. Now I'm going to be on the lookout for some old rusty and crusty cast iron pans. We can do a restoration, like totally restore one, bring it up to almost like new. I'm going to keep an eye out. When I find one, we'll do a video on that. That'll be fun. Add to the cast iron collection. Guys, I hope this was helpful. If you got a cast iron pan, the thing sticks really bad, check to see if it's really rough. Maybe you can just take your sander to it, spend a few minutes sanding it down, go through the re-seasoning process. Might have you a nice little pan to use. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. And I do need to wash my hands. Like, a lot. <laughs> it's messy.